Hi everyone, it's already week three. So I'm firstly extremely proud of everyone who's made it till here. We are already done with 14 days, which is a big deal. So whoever thinks the habits are very tiny, I don't know if it's making an impact. 14 day of building something is a lot. And it's a lot of commitment that you have done and made to yourself. So be proud of that. Now, when it comes to what all am I doing? I am not necessarily doing all the habits Sachi mentioned. Take it slow. It's okay. You're doing much more than you were doing two weeks ago. So that's fine. Now, when it comes to habits, it's not one size fits all, right? You are going to take it at your pace. Now, ideally, eventually, we all want to have adopted these habits. But it's okay if you've not started doing 7.5k yet. Build your steps by 500 steps increase every week. That's also good enough, right? And for anyone who said, I'm starting late, am I too late? No, you're not. Start with whatever habits you can. And if someone cheated with their meals or ate, like today I got a DM saying, I ate biryani, I'm feeling really horrible. It is okay. It's completely fine. We never spoke about food on this challenge so far. So why are you stressing about something we never spoke about? We spoke about building habits. Do these habits relate to sudden weight loss in four weeks? It's not about weight loss yet. It is about all those habits which either lead to weight gain or hinder your weight loss. So we are trying to fix those. They are your backbone of your journey. Once you fix those, then the days that you do your diet or the days that you don't work out, at least you have sense of pride that you've been doing the rest of it. So that's why we are building habits. Now that that's clear, everyone, you're doing a great job. Second thing. Let's discuss the challenges we've been facing on the four habits that we've started with. Steps, I've said it. Take it on your pace. We are going to go to 10K steps. Whoever hasn't reached 7.5, build on it. Number two, if you've been doing five days a week, I've been doing seven and a half, other two days, I can't meet the steps. That's also okay. In the next week, try walking more on those five days if you're going to walk less on the weekend. Number three, when it comes to water, although it sounds simple, drink two liters, drink three liters. If you're not carrying your bottle around and you're drinking from a cup, unless you start measuring those cups, you know, I'm having one cup, two cup, three cup, you are going to lose track. And then you're going to get stressed that you've not had your water intake. So what to do? I highly recommend get a bottle of water, which is one liter. If you have a 750 ml, 500 ml, that's fine. It's just, you know, calculating it twice. But if you have a one liter bottle, it's simple. Fill it in the morning once, finish it by 12. Fill it again after uh, noon and finish it by 4 p.m. And the last time you fill it at 4 and finish it before bedtime and you're done with your water. And it's good to space out your water. You don't want to be drinking two liters at night. It's not healthy. Yeah, it is not healthy. There's something called a water intoxication. You can Google it. You can't just gulp down two liters right away. Right? So you have to space out your water. And finally, eating at a fixed time. Now, it doesn't have to be 7 p.m. because I eat at 7 p.m. It can be as per your sleep schedule. So if you sleep at say 1 a.m., which eventually we want to fix, eat three hours before your sleep time, right? So that your food has more time to digest. Now, if you are not able to meet that timing because on the weekend I went out, forget that one day, do it for the rest six days or rest five days. It's better than not doing it at all, right? So fix that. And now let's move on to this week. In case you have any doubts or any questions, you feel free to DM me on my Instagram account, but also have a WhatsApp channel and link is in the caption. So do join that so that you can constantly see these tips that I'm sharing on that group. Now for week three, we have two habits again. One's fairly sounds simple is not simple. And the other is a task for you. Starting with the first one, it's your sleep patterns. Now, ideally, you should be sleeping seven to eight hours every day. Can you sleep seven to eight hours? If you can, it's a tick mark activity for you. If you can't, because you're busy and you don't get to sleep that much, try going to bed one hour earlier. Try it for yourself. It really helps. And if it's because of your, you know, you like being online or you know you like watching tv till late and then that's why you sleep late wake up early for work and leave try reducing that prioritize yourself a bit more 
Why? Because being well rested helps your body to recover. If you're working out, it helps your, you to be more relaxed, be less stressed. All of that helps in your journey. So sleep is extremely important. Do prioritize it, please. I hope that's not going to be one of the habits that are challenging this week. And the last one is I want for you to focus on one meal. I am not talking about what not to eat. I'm not talking about how many calories you're eating. I'm talking about just one meal, ideally a breakfast. Because if you are having a good breakfast, chances are you end up eating better the rest of the day as well. Because your day starts well. Now, when I say focus on one meal, I'm saying add protein to that meal. Eat a good hearty breakfast, but with a good amount of protein. Now, what is good amount of protein? I would not get into the grams and macros of it right now, but have any form of protein. Now, what do I eat? Even if I'm a non-vegetarian, I can't start my day with fish and chicken. So I usually either eat eggs or Greek yogurt or yeah, it's usually or cottage cheese, low fat cottage cheese, milk, stuff like that. So try figuring out your breakfast as per your likes. I am going to share some recipes on my Instagram page. I know it's taking time. I apologize for it, but I'm on it. But I can tell you a quick options of what I do. So my regular day in day out is uh, multigrain bread toasted with avocado and egg on top. You can use any spread you like, even green chutney if that makes sense for you. But that's one option that I have. So you can have like bread with chutney and eggs on the side. You can scramble those eggs, make an omelet of it, however you like your eggs. Second thing I have is I have uh, oats porridge with uh, walnut powder, not too much, one teaspoon walnut powder and uh, one date I puree it, I put that in with milk, I make a porridge out of it and on the side I have a protein shake with water, you know, and some fruits. This could be one breakfast. You could also have your poha, opma, whatever else you like, but increase your protein on the side. Right? And how much calories you should be having all that's some conversation we are going to have later. Start adding protein to your meals. These are two big habits I want you to add. So we'll be left with just two more next week. But so far we are covering six habits, which is great, which is amazing. And finally, if you want an accountability partner, share this with your friends, share it with your family, share it with whoever you think would benefit from this, because these are easy habits. There's no age restriction to who can do this and who shouldn't do this. Everything's at your own pace because you are deciding it. So in my case, my, my father, who is 64, even he is doing this challenge because it is very straightforward. He walks at home, he gets his steps in and he sends me a picture. So you can do that with whoever you want, even your friend. And everyone's doing great. I am very proud of you. For more, for any links, look at the caption below and subscribe, share, follow if you haven't already. Take care.